This is a little example of using Product Template Studio to swap a, an extrusion profile and uh, extrude a different one. The basic technique we're going to use here is we've got four different profiles here, uh, as you can see in, uh, in this part, that are uh, different shapes. Uh, oh, they're all turned on right now, right there. <laughs> so there's this one, and there's this guy that's rounded, that's a little off-center. There's this guy that's a completely different shape, and then there's th this one that's a couple of circles. Um, and the basic technique we're going to use here is we've got we've got these individual sketches, and then we've got a composite curve here that actually contains all four uh, of those. And and the trick here in the settings is turning on this uh, advanced sorry this allow self intersection right here right with you got that turned on you can select those four I used feature curves and selected the four different profiles in there. Uh, and it won't uh, complain about the fact that they obviously intersect all over the place. <laughs> so, so that's uh, that, that's creating that composite curve. So a total of thirty curves there on that guy. And uh, and then what we're going to do is create an, a suppression by expression uh, expression for each of these four, and then set up our model such that only one of these will be active at a time. And, and then we'll extrude the the composite curve, and uh, and that'll give us a, a nice clean swap. So let's go do that. So we're going to create those uh, suppression by expressions first. And to do that, we're going to come into feature right there and suppression by expression. And uh, this is going to have us, of course, select. Uh, I just cleaned it up there. Let's uh, create for each. And uh, we're going to we're going to uh, create those for these for these expressions or for these uh, these features. So we should be able to grab all four of those. We're going to create for each instead of creating shared. We want one for each of these, right? So we can control them independently, and uh, and we'll say okay. And then in our expressions now, we should have four new expressions. There we go. They're P1 through P4 that are. Um, let me just shrink this down and expand that a bit. So these are those those profile one two three four there uh, that correspond nicely with the P one two three four uh, in there and this is the suppression the suppression status right of course in the one it's going to include it the the zero is going to uh, not include it these are, are unit lists which is nice um, so uh, I had that my buffer there I'm going to just rename these here so that uh, they're a, a nice clean uh, name that we can we can follow paste and do a four. There we go. So we've got those. This P0 is just a radius inside one of the sketches, that the rounded corners on, on this guy. Um, and then I've got a list here of, of these names, profile one, two, three, four. These names could be anything at all uh, right here. And uh, and these are this this list is one that I'm going to use inside the, uh, the product template interface here in just a minute. So uh, so with those four in place, uh, let me apply that and we'll save those names and then let's do a little logic here, right? Um, what we're going to have is an expression that we'll use in our interface. I'm going to start that with UI just so that so that it's not a P and uh, I'm tempted to use a, a something with profile here, but I'll say uh, <laughs> profile choice here, right? So we'll choose, we have an option menu uh, inside the product template UI that'll, that'll use these four uh, names in an option menu. And that's going to return to us a number uh, out there. And uh, here again, I'm going to set that to unit, unit list just to keep that all clean. So this will return a 0, 1, 2, 3 uh, for us uh, from this UI selection uh, out there inside PTS. And, and we'll see that here in just a second. Um, and then with that in place, let's do a little logic here, right? So I like to start out uh, doing this kind of thing at, at the beginning, uh, just to, to make sure I've got all my parentheses there, <laughs> right? Uh, and what we're gonna have here is if this UI profile choice equals, uh, equals one, right? Then we're gonna include this, else uh, we won't include it. Include it. Right, and uh, and then that of course we're going to copy down into these and uh, similarly actually you know what this is actually going to be a zero here so let me do a zero on that one and here this will be a two and this here will be a three right okay so there are expressions are set up again this one's going to be driven by the the product template UI uh, based on that of course uh, one of these will will get set to one. Uh, at that point. So let's let's do that much so far. 
and uh, and see that. So we'll go into tools and PTS author, and inside here, uh, let's start building our, our UI. We've got that default string in here. We can get rid of that here in just a second. Uh, let me pull this back from another monitor, and uh, and we'll do this. So this guy here, we'll we'll uh, we'll remove that. In it doesn't like that right now. That's fine. I'll add something else. Uh, let's add a group here, and inside that group, let's grab our this guy and add that. There we go, and that should go now. Yep. So we'll call this our our uh, parameters here. Let's call this one our section swap test there at the top, right? And uh, of course this guy here is gonna be our section choice. And we can call this anything we want to, uh, call this profile profile choice or, or Fred or <laughs> any, anything at all. Uh, that right now is uh, set to be a key and value, right? And, and what we wanna do here, we could do just a list of choices and we could right here type in uh, four different four different strings right for our, our entries there um, I, I've got it set up to do it with an expression instead um, if you're not changing them uh, dynamically then then the list of choices is just as good uh, if you want to uh, want to have those out there in an expression for one reason or another um, you, you could you, you, you can drive a list very dynamically a list expression very dynamically uh, it's also handy if you need to do different languages right where you can actually have uh, different languages uh, uh, sets of strings for different languages set up and, and have a toggle in your dialog to swap between those it's another uh, interesting application but here we've got a list expression and uh, let's go grab this will show us just the list expressions go grab that list uh, and that'll that'll set up our connection there right uh, good and then let's have an immediate update here just so this goes a little faster and uh, so that'll kick off an NX update when we switch the profile okay so with that much in place uh, let's go ahead and do it um, I think I'm also gonna set up just really quick just to make this is a simple one uh, the quick access uh, there so that'll just bypass the the navigator thing so let's publish that and exit so this part now is going to contain that product template interface. Uh, of course, that's tucked right inside the part file right there, of course. And, uh, and so from here now, we can come and do this uh, in a reusable component, right? And, uh, and when we do that, uh, let's, uh, let's see. Are we doing what we think we're doing? I think we are, yeah. So there's yeah profile one, and there's profile two. Yeah, there we go. So there's three, and there's four, right? And so yeah, sure enough, that is uh, that is doing what we want. And uh, again, the only thing displayed is the composite curve here, right? And uh, it's pretty clean. It's a really nice way to, to swap the profiles there. So with that, um, then we can go, for instance, and uh, extrude that, right? And say take, uh, let's do feature curves here. We've got the composite curve specifically, right? Is the one we're selecting. Um, sometimes most robust to select it right from the part navigator we get the the, the thing there that we want and, and just for fun we can go in say and and say we want to uh, put a little bit of draft on this and and now uh, we won't offset or do anything too horribly tricky but um, but you get the concept there right we can we can go and start to build things off of that off of that section uh, so let's go ahead and save that and we should be in pretty good shape now so with this, again, we can come into our reusable component, um, change that profile, and as we change that profile now, we get, you see, that, uh, that new extrusion. The extrusion updates, and we're just swapping the profile underneath. Okay, so I hope that's useful for you.